On August 17, 1961, the Kennedy administration set aside 68 square miles of Lower Cape ponds, woodlands, and beachfront as part of Cape Cod National Seashore. Today, this vast stretch of conservation land is inhabited by coyotes, seals, and great white sharks, making it the wildest place to fish on Cape Cod. The sky was bright and clear, and sea conditions were incredibly calm. Three-year My Fishing Cape Cod member Doug Blanchard and I walked the beach searching for signs of life, such as swirls, birds, and stripers cruising in the shallows. It didn't take long until Doug and I started having some luck. The current's starting to move. Yeah, we got a pretty strong current running right along the beach here. You know, everybody gets so excited seeing those huge fish, especially down at places like the Cape Cod Canal. But here on the lower Cape, I don't usually catch the monsters down here in the Lower Cape, but over the past few years, I've caught a lot of fish that are just like this right here. Doug's idea to switch to a new fly ended up being the right decision, and it wasn't long until he had a fish on the line. I'm doing this overhand retrieve, or double hand retrieve, and uh, run. Enables me to feed the uh, Feed the fly line into the basket easier, makes it much more controllable, especially when you've got current. What Doug and I didn't realize was that a mega school of striped bass was about to make its way towards the beach. 